Hello UCLA, tonight I'm taking you to the Diversity Awards at Universal Studios. Hollywood's star-studded red carpet is usually about glitz, glamour, and self-promotion. But the Diversity Awards want to make it about a whole lot more. For 15 years and running, the Multicultural Motion Picture Association has hosted the show to honor those bringing diverse ideas and cultures to showbiz. It's funny because I play a blonde hair, blue eyed um, person who doesn't believe in anybody different in the movie. But when they when they told me I got this award, I was like, "That's weird. Are they sure they wanted me?" But I, I I'm very grateful that they acknowledge that my character does have a, a change at the end of the movie. It's really about you know finding out who you are and what you believe in okay. and not you know believing in something because your parents did or because where you're from but being friends with the people you want to be with and doing the things you want to do even if it's different because that's who you are. It's good that they're trying to bring everybody together, recognize people from all over the world, from all, uh, whatever uh, race you, you know you, 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 you're from. And, uh, and that's what's happening in this world right now. That's what Heroes is about. That's why you have a uh, 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 Japanese guy, an Indian guy, you have a uh, Haitian, you have uh, the Latinos. So it's, it's, it's really accepting the fact that we are all living in one big world. Passions was a groundbreaking stuff from the beginning. Get go, and I think we're the first one of the first shows that had an entire uh, Latin family on the show. Mm -hmm. But we break all kinds of records. Our entire world is diversified, and I think television needs to show that more. Yeah. I grew up in this country, but from Cuban background, and I didn't have anybody on television that you know like, other than Ricky Ricardo. And I love Lucy, right. so I think it's wonderful. I think the more diversified uh, our entertainment is, the more it says that this is what the world is right now. So. Yeah, and the award show recognizes that, so it's great. It's a good night for the office. We get to go in here and celebrate the diversity that our show has that emulates the workforce in America. Debbie Matinopoulos, <laughs> co-host of the event, has a vision for the future based on her own experience. Be read English just... until I was five years old. Oh. I didn't. I went to school and they used to put notes around my neck <laughs> that said, we don't know what your daughter's saying. And my parents would be like, oh, maybe she'll do good at school. They couldn't even understand. Oh, my God. So I know people don't know the story. Like, you know, it's... But it's really important to me that that every single race, religion, creed, color is, like, that's who we are. That's what this country is based on. Yeah. And if we're not, then, then really, then what's America? Fifteen years from now, it won't be an option. I see. You see I what see. I'm saying? So you don't like have to make a point of film diversity. Like diversity or television or the arts, why do we even have to make a point of it? This is America. It's a melting pot. Given the chance, young Hollywood has bigger issues to discuss than designer labels and flashing light bulbs. For Daily Bruin Television, I'm Corinne Crockett.